Hey everyone, it's Little Lolly Cat here, back again with another review. So, this one, I will say right from the beginning, I have bought myself. I'm going to be doing this in different parts because I've got so many to review that I'm going to do part one with my initial reactions and then part two showing what I've bought afterwards. So, this one I bought on my own and it's because these have only just become available in the UK. And there's something that I've been staring at for a very long time, which are these DC Amours, which I have only recently discovered have not just cats, but that's supposed to be a dog. <laughs> I think. I think it's supposed to be a dog. It looks like it's supposed to be a dog, but I just thought it was kind of a messed up cat the first time I saw it, <laughs> which is probably bad. It's got a little bow. It has the waistband, although obviously this waistband does not look as good as the waistbands on a lot of products. It's got back waistbands. It has two tabs, two large tabs that are quite close together, and these are only two tabs if you get them in the medium or large. You can get them in the small with a single tab. Um, it's got this pink with white stars across it. Not like traditional stars, but more like the pool stars. Pool. <laughs> Like, it's not a five point star basically, it's just the star shapes. And then, down this, as you can see from the leg guards, it's got all this detail, which is absolutely very pretty and quite cute. The inside is very soft. It's all white, it doesn't have the blue insert. And the sides are just plain pink, as you can see. Um, and I will say, right from the off, that these are thick. Like you can see that that is thick. Like these are like near rear standards of thick, I would say. Which instantly kind of moves me towards them because I really like properly thick ones when I am in little space. <laughs> but obviously it means that they're not as wearable elsewhere. I will say right off the bat, like I said, they've only just become available in the UK, but these are four pounds a pop, which is about... <laughs> they're basically about... Yeah, they're five dollars in the US. However, if you're in the US, well, lucky enough to live in the US, you can get them for about two dollars a piece off of like, was it diaper connoisseur and stuff like that, <laughs> which is a huge difference. So that, for how cute they are and stuff like that, I definitely think I would pay that much for a sample just for the first one, but I don't think I would consistently go back and buy them unless these really wow me which I'm not sure if they will or won't. I have heard things about the tapes being iffy, I've heard things about them being fantastic and being bad, so I don't know what to believe yet. So I will tell you my thoughts when I find, figure them out. So I finally tried the DC Amours. It took me a long, long time. I decided that I was going to wear them to the event that I was going to and I put them on before the event for the bus ride and I'm really torn to how I feel about them because on the one hand they were really cute and I will say that they were really cute on. I love the pink, I love the soft, they were thick but they weren't quite there and I will tell you why I think they were quite there and I'm not entirely sure if this is a case of there was a problem or what's going on so basically I put them on just after 10 I wore them for about five hours which usually I would pee like a couple of times in five hours but I wouldn't necessarily need changed in that amount of time so I was very aware that I was probably gonna have to change at the event but as soon as I got to the event I had to change and they were just... I don't know if the sap had started to go off. Or if it was off. Or something like that. But basically, the first wet wasn't too bad, but it was a very light wet. The second one didn't spread, it pulled. Which is something that happens when sap goes off usually. And then the third one, once again, didn't spread at all, but pulled. And then I had to quickly change because I was at risk of leaking because of that. 
which was really, really worrying. So three wets for a premium ABDL brand is not impressive. It's not good. Especially considering these weren't floodings either for them to start getting to that point. But at the same time, it was probably a good thing that they didn't spread because when I... I will show you on this one for a meme. Right down here, where this joins, it managed to tear. I was... <laughs> I like had gotten changed so I was pulling it up so it was going to sit right under my um, dress and then I felt it tear down there and it was terrifying <laughs> so I was just like oh god so it could have basically if it had actually spread it would have leaked everywhere if it had done work the way it was supposed to work it would have leaked everywhere but it didn't work but it was still at risk of leaking so it wasn't a very good attempt I'm gonna say it wasn't a very good attempt the tapes weren't particularly good either I put them on and I missed one of the tapes so I didn't get quite right and it just wouldn't stick at all I had to use my tights and my pants to hold them together and I'm gonna say that I think if you're in the US like diaper connoisseur sell them for about two dollars a piece and I think that is worth it at two dollars a piece they are worth it at four pounds a piece they are not four pounds a piece is five dollars they are not worth five dollars like they are there aesthetically but they are not quite there use wise and at that price it makes them like the most expensive diaper you can get in the uk pretty much like from a uk shop it's pretty much the most expensive one you can get so it's they didn't live up to expectations, unfortunately. I will say I do love the design. I think they're adorable. I think that if you're in the US and you're going to pay a couple of dollars for them, go for it. They're worth it for that. But if you're in the UK or in Europe and you think you're going to order them for that price, unless you're getting a discount somehow, they are not worth it. I'm sorry. I'm not entirely sure though, like I've said, I'm not entirely sure what was going on with the sap because the way it was acting was very typical of sap that has gone off or is going off. So I don't know if these were past their expiry date or something like that. So I'm not going to completely lay into them because I think maybe I need to possibly somehow get a hand, my hands on an actual pack that I can see the expiry date on and see if it makes a difference. If there was something going on and they were going off or something like that, I need to check that. If not, and it was a case of this is just the way it acts, then there's something up with that. It wasn't good. It was bad. Overall, like I said, I half-heartedly suggest them if you're in the UK. I full-heartedly suggest if you're in the US, but Seriously, they're, they're not worth what I paid for them, so I definitely won't be ordering for them from there again. The only way I will be ordering them is if I can see the pack and the expiration date. So, that's all for now. <laughs> I know this will probably, like, I'm really, really hopeful that it was a case of just, I got a shoddy one, or I got one that was starting to go off. But even then, I think I'd be a bit angry at paying how much I paid for it. Especially given that you would have to pay the £4 for a diaper and then you'd have to pay the postage on top. If I hadn't ordered with friends, I would have had to pay a lot more. So I don't... No. That wasn't happy. That was not a happy incident. So I will say goodbye to you all now, before I ramble on too much. And I will talk to you all later. Bye everyone.